And then I found this beautiful designer Italian leather crossbody purse. Hello and welcome back. Today I have a haul for you and this haul is from Value Village. And if you have not seen the Thrift With Me videos, they were, it was a two part video. I will link them up here. They will pop out in suggested videos. And I will also try and remember to link it in the description box below. So you can just go there and click on it and it'll take you right to the video. And today I am going to show you everything that I got. And I got uh, quite a lot of stuff. It was, took me a while, but I managed to fill my cart with vintage goodies. So let's get right to it. And I will show you everything that I got from Value Village. All right, let's start off with this piece. This is Hakushut made in Israel. And it's got a gazelle on it in brass. It is a metal it's got a attachment for hanging on the wall and then the sticker says hack a shoot i think i'm saying that correct and then it is etched hack a shoot and made in israel down there i paid 2.99 for this piece and i would expect to get 22 to 24 dollars for it and these beautiful royal iris otagiri ceramic mugs they are a really unique kind of a slate gray with a tinge of purple really different color the beautiful irises on them and i would expect to get 18 to 22 dollars for the pair and i found these two Peggy Carr plates, and they were $5.99 for the pair, which is a really great price. They are fused glass, and they are signed. They both have the sticker on them, but they are also signed on the bottom. And I'm seeing prices for these anywhere from $25 up into a hundred and some dollars per plate. So I could not find these exact plates. So I don't know exactly what I am going to list them for yet in my Etsy shop. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more research and see if I can find a little bit more information. But without knowing exactly what they're worth, I would like to get at least 35 to $38 for the larger one and 22 to 25 for the smaller one, possibly more. I'm gonna look into them a little bit more and see. And what else? Well, I went into the bag section and I found this. These were in a bag along with, I took them out of the bag, so. It's a little hard to hold them all. But along with these little fairies for, I believe the bag was $3.99. And I got them for these little boxes. But the only thing is they don't, the lids don't sit really nice on top. And this one's got quite a bit of wear. And normally these are kind of nesting, they would nest inside. But this one doesn't fit properly. The lid doesn't close when this box is inside. Although they do have the exact same pattern on them, they don't quite fit. Very nice. So I won't be listing them in my shop because they're just not in resale condition. But they are beautiful little boxes. And what I might do is maybe when someone purchases 
some small piece of jewelry, I maybe will wrap it and put it inside a box like this, this one, and send it in a box. Same with this, maybe a necklace or something. I'll put it in this box within a box and ship it off as a little bit of a free gift with purchase. Or I will redonate them or put them in my yard sale that I'm going to have this year. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely not going to resell them. They're not in resale condition. They're beautiful little boxes. And these little fairies were in there as well. And this one's in really nice condition, which is really cute. It's just a resin or hard plastic material. And this one, unfortunately, has a broken hand and a broken leg. So she will have to get redonated or something. And this one I will probably put in a package as a free gift with purchase. And these three oil paintings were in a bag as well, and I believe it was $3.99 for the bag. And they're really nicely done. They are just framed in a cheaper plastic frame. Not the nicest frames, a little bit rough condition in the back. But the oil paintings themselves are really nice condition and really well done. So I will list these for $22 to $25 per painting. And I got this adorable bunny cottontail cotton ball holder. <laughs> and you fill the hole full of cotton balls and then you pull them out of the hole in the back and when one sits outside of the hole it looks like a little bunny's tail. I didn't have any cotton balls to do a little demonstration but super cute in really nice condition and I've sold quite a few of these in my shop already. I would value this one at $22 to $24. And then I went over to the linens and I got a whole pile of linens. Well, first I'll show you these prints that I got. Really nice 1958 prints. I paid $6.99 for them. Really nice frames. Got a bit of gold. It's textured gold. and in really great condition. And this one's got a very springy summer wildflower design with the butterfly and nice big sunflower. I love this one. So I will list these in my shop for $55 to $60 each plus shipping. And they were $6.99 each. And they're 1958 made in New York. And I'll list them separately. They don't really, they go together, the frames go together, but the print doesn't really go together. So I will list them separate. All right, to the linens and a few scarves. I found some really great linens. Found these for dish rags. They are new old stock. It's a really fun sunflower design on them. They were $2.99 for the four. And I will list these in my shop for $12 to $15. And some really 
beautiful tea towels. This one says New Zealand Kaka Beak. Got a beautiful design on it. Really nice condition. And I would expect to get 18 to $22 for this one. This one is definitely got Hawaiian vibes, with the hibiscus flower. It doesn't say Hawaii on it anywhere, which I'm surprised, but it's definitely got Hawaiian vibes. And it was two, no, a dollar ninety nine, and I would expect to get fifteen to eighteen dollars for this one. And this one is so fun, and I apologize that I did not give a very good view of it in the thrift with me video. I was going on and on about it, but when I was editing, I noticed I didn't even really show them the actual tea towel but it is so super kitschy it's got the anthropomorphic birds there's a couple birds in I think that is a maybe a teacup one bird in a boot and then a bird in a teapot really fun very kitschy really nice condition and it says, buy textile impressions on pure Irish linen. So this one, oh, what did I pay for this one? This one was $5.99. So I paid up for this, six bucks for this one. And I would expect to get 28 to $32 for this one. Just because it's on beautiful Irish linen it's anthropomorphic, very kitschy, and unique. So I will put a higher value on this one. And I grabbed a couple towels. Nice bright yellow one. It was a $2.99. And I will list this one in my shop. And I would expect to get 15 to $18 for this one. This one was $2.99 as well. In really nice condition, really beautiful blue color with the rose design. And this one is Camtex, 100% cotton made in Canada. And I would expect to get $18 for this one. And then this one's just got a real beachy vibe to it. And just picture this one on the beach. Got a very 1960s mod design on it. And it is Calibri. Americana, made in USA, I believe, 100% cotton. It's a little bit larger than the other ones. So I would expect to get 18 to $22 for this one. And I found a couple scarves. This one is super retro, very 1970s, 80s design on it. Nice long scarf with the fringe. And it is Tyrolia acrylic made in Japan. Hmm. So it might be older than 70s or 80s. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. 
and I will probably hold on to it till closer to winter and then I'll list it in the fall, early fall. And I would expect to get at least 22 to $25 for this scarf. And this one is just beautiful. It is a velvet scarf with beautiful silk fringe. Really pretty, really pretty design. I paid $2.99 for this one. There was a tag, but the tag has been cut off. There was little remnants of a tag. So I do not know who makes it or where it was made. I do believe that it is definitely vintage though. Say, I'm thinking 1980s, 90s or newer, just based on the little bit of tag that is left, it doesn't seem to me like it is a, a really old tag, that it would be anything older than 1980s. And did I say how much this one was? It was $4.99. I can't remember if I said how much that one was. And then I found this beautiful designer Italian leather crossbody purse. It is a Patricia Nash purse. It's in beautiful condition. The strap has a little bit of wear, but other than that, it's in really nice condition. I paid $6.99 for it. And I'm seeing the prices of these kind of all over the place. A lot of solds were somewhere around $100, but they were new with tags still on them. This one's very clean in really nice condition. And I do not know if this would be considered vintage or not. Because doing some research, I believe that she started making handbags in 2010, I think. But I could be wrong. So I don't know if I'm going to be listing this in my Etsy shop or not. I did see, I think one or two listed on Etsy, so it could very well be vintage. So hopefully it is, hopefully I can list it in my Etsy shop. If not, then I will be keeping it for myself unless somebody reaches out to me at the email in the description box below if you are interested in this purse. Feel free to reach out to me. And I would expect to get $35 for this one. And then I found this very retro 1970s leather jacket made in Canada. And it's in beautiful condition. Looks like it was barely worn. Could be 1980s. At least 1980s. And it's Regency, made in Canada. I paid $34.95 or $99 for it. And I tried it on and it fits me perfect. So I'm not sure if I'm going to resell it or keep it for myself. It's like, fits me like a glove. It's got really nice leather covered buttons. And you can tell that it's barely been worn because the holes are not super easy to get the buttons inside. It's got a little belt. 
and some pockets. Yeah, it fits me like a glove, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to let this one go. And I don't know if I'll ever wear it. So if I do resell it, I probably won't list it until at least fall, early fall, the end of the summer, early fall. And I would expect to get $75 to $95 for it, somewhere in that price range. And that was everything from my haul. And I have to take this off because it's very warm. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me. If you are new and you enjoy my content, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. And if you have not seen either of those videos, I will link them up here. They will pop up in out. Oh, 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 oh.